Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Phoenix. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, playing some more Kitty Powers Matchmaker. We're gonna play Cupid. I make some love between some humans. So, I'm currently level two. I'm a bottom feeder. Oh, we have mail. We have a letter from one of the couples that we put together last time. Austin and I are still an item and we've tied the knot. They got married? We both really love open world video games. I love these guys. We're so happy. I can easily live with his love of scheduling. He's a crazy guy. The best part is that I was completely honest with him from the get-go. Well, I told you, honesty is the best policy, Morgana. So we got plus reputation, that's good. Let's see if Polly has good news for us. Gertrude and I are still together and we're engaged. That's good. We both really enjoy movie props. We're so compatible that I can easily live with her obsession of musicals. That's awesome! So let's see if we can get some couples together today and maybe they'll be as successful as Polly and Gertrude and Morgana and whatever the dude was called. I can't even remember. Oh hello, we've got some clients to choose from. Shall we go? I like this one in the middle. She looks kind of like Dita Von Tees. I'm Ava, a train driver looking for a man. Okay, might be kind of hard to pair up a train driver. I'm Bernie, a hotel door attendant. Right. Not exactly glamorous work. Let's see what he does. A teaching assistant. I'm going to go for the train driver because at least that's kind of unusually interesting. <laughs> so she is an Aquarius. She likes model aircrafts. Why do the weirdos always come to me looking for dates? She likes magic wands and DVD movie extras. Oh dear. Green eyes and black hair. And she is relaxed. So let's see who her matches are. So, oh, sorry Ava, these guys don't look great, I'm afraid. We've got a receptionist here. He likes laptops, ghost trains, and UFOs. This guy likes photography, action movies, and reading instructions. And this guy likes special makeup effects, costume parties, and cute anime characters. Uh, do any of these really match up? Oh, hang on, this guy has black hair. And she likes black hair, and he likes green eyes and red hair. Oh dear. I think this guy might be the closest match. So we're gonna take them on a date. Ava and Phoenix, they have beautiful names. So we've been to the British restaurant, and we've been to the American restaurant, so let's try and go to, I'm ashamed to say I don't know what country this flag is from, but we're gonna try and go there and find out. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm so bad at following things with my eyes. I think it's this one. Yes! Where is it? Jerk King. I think it might be Jamaica. I hope they are compatible. <gasps> this is cute! I really love the setting. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Phoenix. Oh my gosh. Well, she certainly has a way with words, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, you must be Ava, right? Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. A match made in a pound shop. Oh dear, I think we made a mistake here. Wow, this restaurant is killing it. Affirmative, I would tend to agree with that conclusion. Your black hair is giving me a pleasant sensation. Uh, what? Thanks, it's literally all mine as well. That's good to know. Perhaps you could knit a shirt out of it. Kitty, what are you on about? The waitress has arrived. We shall find out what he would like to eat. What is your preferred sustenance, sir? Something cold with no meat would be a fabuloso. I'm totes vegetarian, so meat's a no-no. Okay, we've got to be sure. Oh dear. Right, garden salad we could go for, but I know that definitely doesn't have meat in it, and I know it's cold. So we're just going to go for garden salad. Two rations of garden salad, please. I don't think they're quite compatible, but I would love to go on a date with her. She is hilarious to talk to. Yes, it does. I am in full agreement. Oh, what's happening? What's that? A coin flew past. I don't know what just happened. Pull the love handle! We can talk about horoscopes, exercise, or hairstyle. Now, she already complimented him on his hairstyle, and he's not into her hair colour, so that might be a little bit awkward. I don't know if their horoscopes are compatible. I don't understand horoscopes. Let's hope that they're both either lazy or active. When it comes to housework, do you get stuck in or only clean for guests? Great question. I'd say only clean for guests. Oh, we're both lazy! That's fantastic. Definitely only clean for guests. Oh, he loves that I'm lazy. <laughs> Our agreement is total. Ah, 
out. Look, Lizzie, how cute. I know, I've made a good match. Dinner is served. Okay, pull the love handle again. Let's get another conversation started. Okay, do not talk about the weather. Let's talk about facial decor and just hope it goes well. Do you have any thoughts on my gothic makeup? It could be worse. Right. You might as well have just slapped me in the face with that one. I find your indecisiveness unappealing. Oh dear. Do you like my curly moustache? Oh my gosh, please. We- Oh! The truth is that she- Okay, we can either say she likes it or she loves it. Mm, I'm gonna go with like, because I don't want to- mm, I'm gonna go with I love it and hope that we get a good lie. Please lie well. Oh dear. Oh, we might get the five coins though. No! Ah, no! Oh my gosh, that was so close. I've never seen anything so close. Your use of style is most efficient. Wow, you know how to pour it on, don't you? I'm literally gagging to hear a good story. Have you got one? Oh dear, well. Not this again. I'm so bad at matching up pairs. Okay, there's a dog and a cat. And then in this corner, there's a dog and a cat! Well, that just went well, didn't it? And it could recite pi to 537 decimal places. <laughs> Wicked, that's a great story. <sighs> Affirmative, it was the best thing since the Big Bang. <sighs> right, let's roll again. Oh, we could talk about, let's talk about our interests because I don't think he really likes my gothic style. Gothic style? Hopefully they'll find some common ground in their geeky interests. I know that he likes cute anime characters. <laughs> I really like cute anime characters. That sounds both rational and logical. Yeah, it's everything. What do you do for kicks? Well, let's tell him the truth. I think he'd be into DVD movie extras. He seems like that kind of guy, although his eyebrows are kind of slanted in a very confused way, so it might go... Oh, he liked it! Absolutely sickening. Doesn't sound like he liked it, but he apparently does. I'm pleased by your reaction. We should totally pay the bill now. I thought he was gonna say not pay the bill. I was like, what the heck are you gonna do? Oh wait, we have to remember the waiter now. It was definitely Ellie! I would recognize that face anywhere. Here is your bill. You have our gratitude. Wow, it's totes lucky you remembered what they looked like. My memory banks are functioning at normal levels. Well, that about wraps it up. Yes, we should go now. Okay, oh, a cat! Right, I think that went really well. Shall we ask if they should go out? I think we should, because I think that date went really well. It might seem desperate, but I'm gonna do it. Would you like to be my significant other? Yay! True love has been achieved, and now they're in a hot tub, because that apparently magically happens when you fall in love. And we got some naked babies here. Right! We done good! They become a couple. Will I still be a bottom feeder? Yes, I will. I'm really surprised by how well that went. Usually, my dates don't go well. Who should we have as our new client? Well, we can pick from two redheads. We've got the door attendant, the teaching assistant, and a gardener. That's quite a cool one. Let's go for Franny the gardener. She likes post-apocalyptic movies, photobombing, and collecting skulls. So we can pick from an aircon technician, a teaching assistant, or a toilet attendant. What are her preferences? She likes grey eyes and brown hair. Oh, Mona might fit in. She likes microscopes, ham radio, and laptops. Fantasy novels, bus spotting, and special makeup effects. Oh, Muriel. This one likes animal totems, going to bookshops, and fairies. I don't know which of these is the weirdest, to be honest. They're all pretty weird. Well, let's try Mona, because she's got that brown hair that Franny loves. And I guess we'll go for, and it doesn't matter which, maybe try the Jamaican one again. That was cool. If I can ever find it, I don't know which one it was. It was not that one. Guess we're going back to the King's Helmet. Oh, I really like this restaurant. I hate it. Hello, are you Mona? Yes, I am. You must be Franny. Pleased to meet you. This is a nice place, isn't it? Yes, it's quite popular, actually. Ooh, your eyes are a lovely shade of grey. Thanks, that's very nice of you to say. And your hair is a lovely dark brown colour, too. Oh, you are nice, aren't you? They seem to be getting along well. May I take your order? She would like something hot with no meat, okay. 
Uh, cauliflower cheese does not have meat in it. Cauliflower cheese it is. <laughs> Ooh, she likes it. Ooh. Let's pull the love handle and see what we're going to talk about today. Please, not the weather. Ooh. We already kind of talked about hairstyles. So we're going to have to go with occupation. So Mona, what do you do for a living? I'm a teaching assistant. Okay, it would be super rude to say meh. I don't think I could say that. We're gonna have to try and lie. You can't say meh to someone telling you what their job is. Please, let it be good. Oh no, we should never have tried to lie. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! The lie's not gonna work. Oh, we could use 25 of our coins to cheat. I think we're gonna have to do that. Oh, we get to spin again? Oh gosh. Here it goes, it's gonna be another bad lie. Great. Oh my gosh, it landed on the exact same one. Oh dear, and I can't try again. Wow, that's amazing, how cool. I think they might be lying. And then we got a red X already. Oh yeah. We can bring it back, don't worry. Let's try chat about something else. Well, it's not gonna be the weather, is it? Let's not talk about the weather. Let's go for facial decor. What do you think of my clear complexion? It's great, it really suits you. Why, thank you, you're such a flatterer. Do you like my natural makeup then? Um, I'm just gonna go for I like it. I've learned my lesson about lying. Phew, that seemed to go well. Can I interest you in anything from the dessert trolley? I shouldn't, but just this once won't hurt. Okay, we've gotta memorize the desserts. We got cheese board. Cappuccino, a banana split, and a double espresso. So, I've already forgotten. The first one was the cheese board. I know that it was the cheese board. Confirm. Can I have an order of the cheese board? Delicious, I'm looking forward to digging into that. I knew they'd like that one. Well, yeah, because she literally just said it. Oh gosh, here we go, another awful conversation. Well, I guess we have to... Let's go for talking about horoscopes. I find them fascinating. I think they're fantastic. I'm so glad we agree. I'm Cancer, what are you? Oh, I'm Pisces, what does that mean? We're astrologically perfect. Wow, that's fantastic. Here is your bill. What should we tip? Oh no, not the maths one again. 10%, I got this though. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's two pound 43. That should do it. Well, aren't you clever? Not really, it was easy. I guess it's time to go. Okay, we got one red X, so I think that didn't go so great. I really like them. I don't know if it's a good idea to ask them straight out because it didn't go perfectly, so maybe we should ask them just on another date. Ask for another date? To play it a little cooler and play the field? But I mean, it went pretty well. I don't think there's gonna be anyone else out there that is as good a match. So let's just ask her out and hope it goes well. Do you want to get more serious? Yes, I think I'm in love. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Okay. And now they're in a hot tub! <gasps> Will we get promoted? We are! We're an underling! That sounds lovely. That's exactly what I want to be. Yay! Got some advertising money. Where should we blow it? Okay, we advertised in a comic book store first time around and we ended up getting a lot of geeky type people, which is fine because I'm totally one of them. But we can go for maybe the disco type people or gym type people or this rock club type people. I think we'll go for disco people. Oh, we can get new restaurants. This is where you <gasps> can your choice Ooh. of restaurants and send dates on. Let's get some Australian, French, and Italian Please for next time. Installed in each restaurant so that you can guide your client through their date under our watchful eye. <laughs> what a weird concept. Each restaurant comes with a new dating dilemma. <gasps> There's a salon stylist and a colorist so you can change their outfit and clothes. That would be so handy for dates. Oh, we got mail. It's from Ava from earlier. Greetings, Lizzie. Phoenix and I are still in a relationship and share accommodation. We both enjoy magic wands together. Our union is so total I can easily abide his infatuation with property development. I'm so glad. So I'm going to leave it there for this video, but I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.